he has made his appearance in 2020. It's, it's kind of crazy, man. Like, I can't remember the last time I actually listened to a little Yachty track. Did he even, did he even like, do anything in 2019? Off the top of my head, I don't I don't think so. I can't remember, at least in my, my knowledge. But he has a track called Oprah's Bank Account. And the track is featuring Drizzy Drake and DaBaby. What a time to be alive. That is one of the combos I would have never expected in music for a long time. You know, the baby and Drake, and then just Drake and Lil Yachty. That's crazy to me. I that is that's a big move for Yachty, at least. And the baby as well. Not, you know, because Drake is a big artist, I mean, probably the biggest artist in music. So for them to have that name, especially in the return of 2020, I think that's a great first step for Lil Yachty. Now, I don't agree with the title of the track. Because uh, it is nine minutes long. We are going to listen to the whole video. We're going to watch the video. My Patreons, you can go ahead and watch my Patreon. But we're going to listen to this shit. We're going to watch the video and we're going to enjoy it. Because Oprah's bank account. But with that being said, man, like I always been fucking talking too much, man. We got what I just said featuring Drake and the baby with Lil Yachty. Y'all ready? Diamond and the rough, you look as good as Oprah's back account. I just wanna take you out. Fuck you in your mama house. Oprah. He said you look good as <laughs> Oprah's bank account. I just wanna take you out. Literally. Back home, I know Prezi, I'm Obama. Hey. Wait, that's Lil Yachty as Oprah? <laughs> That's Lil Yachty as a... It just hit me. It just hit me. Like... I hide in the cave like Osama did. I'm throwing a bag in the diamond district. You need me like dollars that are owed to you. Hey. Money and me are the same. I ain't mad at you, baby. Look, y'all can say whatever y'all want, bro. But this sounds like Hotline Bling. Remember when Hotline Bling first came out? Well, I don't know about y'all. Hotline, Hotline Bling first came out for me. That shit was on point. All right? I definitely enjoyed that shit. It was a bop. Yeah, it was very radio hits, mainstream, but again, it was a bop. Drake doing his thing. He has the voice for music. This track right here, Earl on the beat, you know, Lil Yachty did his thing at the beginning, looking like Oprah, caught me off guard, but he came in. <laughs> Drake does that shit in his element, bro. You can't take him out of that. Just being real. Reaching, Rick Fox, smart, reaching your full, uh, you know, your, your LSC, you know, really about reaching your full LSC, your light skin capability, and... Um, yeah, I just feel like, like this. <laughs> he said LSC, light skin capability. That's what he just said. We gonna let that slide. One thing I can say about Drake where he do miss, his skits is trash to me, all right? They do not hit for me. The Chris Brown one, that did not hit for me. The only time Drake for me has been funny was when he did the uh, ESPN Awards back in, what, 17, I think it was? Or was it 18? That was pretty funny. He did his thing on that shit. I just don't think that he's he's funny. I mean, he is an actor. He's done his acting career. You know, he definitely has that on his resume with Degr Degrassi. We all know Jimmy. But it's like, other than that, it don't really do nothing for me. Get a combo as well if you feel. Like, for real. You know, I'm up there on the Mount, uh, the Mount, Mount Lightmore. So would you say that it helps you with your famous... That nigga said life! ...to be forgotten about. Um, is is little Yachi? I think that guy is just. Pizza for everybody. The Yachi's pizza area. Pizza area. I just pizza. Pizza area. You know ain't no limit on blue honey. It's like a big bag of money. That's new money. Cheers. You gonna make the bitch think that you love her. Hold her hand right in front. You be too public. I'm the nigga. Every damn song, like an ongoing song, you never gotta make another song again, man. It's just you know, and it just bad. keeps going platinum. Bands. Either way it goes, it's let's go. <laughs> you get back, you get back, you get back, you get back, you get back. All right, look, man, my opinion's on this. Look, my opinion's on this. All right, the, 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 the visuals I always say, man, some, some videos and some tracks, they need visuals. They need visual representation. I felt like 
A prime example of that is Culture 2. Culture 2, when it first came out, I did not like it. I think we all didn't like Culture 2 because everybody was so stuck up on Culture 1 and comparing it and everybody was like not really looking at what Culture 2 was. And, you know, when they actually did that Stir Fry track, I didn't like that Stir Fry track. And then I watched the video to Stir Fry and I was like, you know what? That shit is fire. How they had to mix it with the Stir Fry. And then they had the whole Asian thing going on, the Asian theme. That's where I feel like it become, the, the lyrics come alive when you can get a visual going. This track right here, Oprah's bank account, obviously we know what it's about. Oprah's bank account, we get that. And Drake, I again, Drake's verse didn't miss, fire. Even if I didn't listen to this, you know, I listened to the actual just, you know, song, I would think that this song would still be a hit in terms of, you know, mainstream radio play. Lil Yachty being one of the biggest artists out of that XXL uh, list. For him to make his return, you know, he definitely has a lot of fans. Everybody loves Lil Boat. And then having Drake the baby on here, you know, doing their little acting as well. I think that was a little good move for him. Drake is going to be Drake, all right? He's going to, p to give you numbers. He's going to sell. I'm not worried about that. The baby man, I was really surprised about his verse because the way, you know, usually the baby, again, when he said it in his uh his skit, yeah, a lot of us really do think that. We really do think that, you know, you have one song and it sounds like 16 other tracks in the same track, right? But I also feel like he understands that what he just said. He understands that, but if it's, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I preach that as well. If you guys as consumers are going to keep listening to this shit and keep buying it and giving him the triple platinum or whatever, then why not? Why not just keep making the track? You know what I'm saying? Like, there, there's no reason for him to stop because y'all going to eat that shit up regardless. So why would he stop if the money is there? He going to be laughing all the way to the bank like he said, or he going to be at your bitch house laughing all the way to the bank, then going back to your bitch house. I thought that was pretty funny. Thought it was the, the skit was corny as hell. Though. It did catch me off guard when Lil Yachty was Oprah. I didn't think that he was... You know, he, he he took it really to the point where it was like, okay, Oprah's bank account, I'm Oprah. You know, imitating the Oprah show, we all know about how rich Oprah is. We all know how, for, you know, um, nice Oprah is, giving all the way her shit. I thought it was cool having him on a talk show. Lil Yachty also making his own appearance as well as, you know, Oprah Yachty, whatever you want to call. Giving everybody a little boat. You know, I thought that was pretty cool too. You know, it's, it's this track right here, I feel like it's not meant to be taken serious. But Lil Yachty has always been that type of artist to never been taken serious, but to kind of just have that fun demeanor. Well, Lil Boat at least. Or is Lil Yachty the, the fun part of it? But I forget which part of him is actually the fun part, but whatever the fun uh, uh, his fun persona is, that's the one, you know, that actually has fun with kind of shit like this. You know, um, like One Night, we all remember One Night, his first single from the, from the mixtape. And then we also heard Lil Yachty rap, like, you know say Lil Yachty, T Grizzly, I always bring that up. Remember from, uh, from the D to the A, that shit was fire, so. Get in the comments below, man. Let me know what you think about this track. Let me know what was your favorite part of the video. Let me know if y'all really think Drake can do his acting skits. Like, let me know if y'all really think it's cool. Because I think that no matter what y'all say, it's corny to me. Like, the last two that he's done now with this one and Chris Brown, No Guidance, both of them were corny as fuck. At least in my opinion. But, again, I have no reason to talk. Y'all really hate me. Y'all always talk about my hair as a pineapple. Y'all always motherfuckers say I'm lame as fuck. I'm just giving my opinion because y'all asked for it. Anyway, if y'all want the whole video, man, the whole video will be on Patreon. Y'all gotta know how to get to Patreon. I'm gonna start doing the full reactions on there. But if you guys aren't from there on YouTube, this is the chopped up version. You guys say don't get mad at me because I had to chop it up because of copyright. Um, don't forget, follow me on social media. Let me know you here. Get in the comments box. Let me know your opinions on the track. And uh, don't forget, uh, like always, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for supporting. Like always, been fucking talking so much. And until the next time, man, we are out. I'm talking fast and shit, boy. Peace.